A new academic year brings in a new student association student government. With Senate elections completed late September and vice chair elections completed recently, the first thing on the Senate's mind? Training the Senators. Senate training introduces Pam Alatesta from the Office of Student Involvement, educating new and veteran senators on getting to know each other better, as well as establishing expectations and goals for the Senate to work as a team. Veterans and new senators alike had a mixed bag on what they would like to see accomplished this academic year. Recently, the Senate vice chair election set the Senate behind schedule by two weeks, but it doesn't appear to be a major hindrance. As Senate training continued, not only did Senators start to notice cooperation amongst themselves, but President Zafir Udin also took notice to how well the Senate was cooperating. At the end of the training, the Senate walked away better educated and well informed of who their fellow Senators were.
LMFAO is an uncle-nephew duo who are actually the descendants of Motown pioneer Barry Gordy, who worked with classic artists such as The Temptations, The Supremes, Smokey Robinson, and Michael Jackson. LMFAO's claim to fame is the recent number one hit, Party Rock Anthem. The Far East Movement is a group of four people of East Asian descent, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and Filipino, who hit number one on the Billboard charts last year with Like a G6. It's not hard to miss the concert thanks to the time and advertising efforts by director of marketing Matt Curran. Music classified for both groups falls under dance, club, and house music. However, recently a subgenre has popped up as party rock, which is the theme for bringing the artist to Albany. Both groups have faced the reviews of music critics. The Far East Movement's album Free Wired had relatively positive reviews, receiving a B- from Entertainment Weekly as a good alternative to the Black Eyed Peas. MFAO, however, has seen some fairly negative reviews in the music world as far as Rolling Stone giving the duo's album, Sorry for Party Rocking, 2 out of 5 stars, making a disc of brain cell depleting jams. However, it's not the music that will win over the crowd, surely the stage performances will. Tickets are still on sale for $10 at the Student Association office. The concert store is open on Saturday, November 12th at 7 p.m. For ATV 360, this is Zach Weiner. Five Quad, the student-run ambulance service on campus, isn't just known for escorting the ill and injured to Albany's hospitals. This year, the Medical Transportation Group started the first annual coat and food drive for the holiday season. The mission Five Quad chose to donate to is the Capital City Rescue Mission, which is located at 259 South Pearl Street in downtown Albany. For the past four weeks, five quads set up drop-off boxes all over campus, which included all the residential quads and the campus center by the Student Association's office. <laughs> 